Well friends, I just got done filming an Aldi grocery haul. It's almost all put away. It's a very small haul because I'm going to do at least a two week deep pantry and freezer cooking challenge to really clear things out before I do my next large family grocery haul for the month. I'm thinking, I mean, it's already March 4th and so I don't know. I, I'm very optimistic I can get through two weeks and I might even push through another week after that. We'll see. But I will be doing small little hauls to get, there's, there's Liam putting pantry stuff away, to get odds and ends that we need. So for this week, I've got my meal plan worked out. I'm going to show you what we're doing for dinner tonight. It's not too difficult in the pantry challenge right now. Of course, I had a couple ribeyes and I had this light balsamic vinegar. I left those out this morning. We were running errands and doing things out and about all day. I left those out just to show you guys this evening when we got home. So I had the ribeyes and yes, they would grill as beautiful steaks, but if there's not a lot of time, I can throw them in the slow cooker and it'll be just like a nice roast. So here is how they look. I'm going, and I also put in a purple onion. I will get those served up in a minute. And I have these bag of sweet potatoes, the sweet potatoes you keep hearing about. They went on our ski trip with us and they came all the way home. So all I did was I washed them, I sliced them all, put them in the slow cooker on low. We've been gone seven or so hours today doing all our stuff. So these are going to be dinner tonight. So it'll be the equivalent of a beef roast and sweet potatoes. Happy Tuesday. We've got some cheesy eggs in progress and I'm going to go ahead and chop up this pineapple. So here's a look at breakfast. We got the cheesy eggs. This was two pans of bacon, but I've got it all piled on one pan now. And then I went ahead and chopped up both of those pineapples that I got at Aldi yesterday. So this is breakfast. Oh yeah. Happy Thursday. He pull it. He he just got some potty paper. We had to buy some last night. Pull that big oatmeal. Pull it to the kitchen. You got it. Look at you. Good job, Daniel. It's a 25 pound bag of oatmeal. You're a strong boy. So happy Thursday afternoon. We are tons of school and life going on behind us. For lunch, I did toasted tuna fish sandwiches and I have a little bit of that left. Naomi went out and she's been deep cleaning our van out since we've come back inside. So I saved a little bit of that for her lunch and I'm gonna get dinner going in the Instant Pot here soon because dinner will be here before we know it and we've got Taekwondo this evening and still getting in some homeschool reading and messes and all of that. So of course it's almost time to run out the door to Taekwondo and I'm just getting dinner in this Instant Pot. I'm going to make a keto white chicken chili in the Instant Pot. I'm gonna whip that all up now. I'm gonna actually film a separate video just with that recipe but I'll give you a, a quick peek at it here. So guys, you got Taekwondo Mama J. Morrell. You see what happened is I got everything in this Instant Pot earlier. I was going to feed us this keto Instant Pot white chicken chili before we went out the door to Taekwondo. Obviously proof we've been in Taekwondo. And uh, anyway, time just got away from me. How it does sometimes, it's just not fair, you know? So I got the chicken and 90% of the ingredients in the Instant Pot, secured the lid, did all that. Press, press play, I keep wanting to say press play. Pressed start. Travis took us to Taekwondo and now that we are home, I finished up the last two things I needed to do. So I'm gonna show you this white chicken chili right now before we eat it at like 8.30 at night. Okay, so here are the bowls that are ready. I just, around the stove, got these together. There's the white chicken chili. I put some shredded cheese in it. Now this, of course, is thinner. There are some different thickener thickeners that you can add, but it's good enough for me. More of a soup consistency. Here it is in the Instant Pot. And let me tell you, theres I don't think there's gonna be any of this left for tomorrow because it is that good. And if you need the recipe and the Cook With Me video, that will be linked down in the description below. Hey friends, it is Friday, lunchtime. I'm about starving, about ready to fall down. So I'm making this egg salad, but I'm also making myself some deviled eggs. Cause you know, six one way, half dozen another, it's still 
exile it in some way. We were supposed to go to one of the universities in our area because one of our homeschool groups had reserved their big college basketball gym. Woke up this morning, newsflash, one to three more inches of snow. Plans canceled. So we've got bedrooms clean. We got some house extra deep cleaning done today. That is good. So here's how the egg salad looks. I got a memory card error as I was putting in all my ingredients. And I know several of you have asked how I do egg salad. So, you know, sometimes it's different every time. But this time, now I used um, this similar to Miracle Whip because it's what I had on hand. We're still, still are doing that pantry challenge this week. So I had used a whole bunch of that whole bunch that's my measurements whole lot a lot of yellow mustard then i sprinkled in a little bit of dill weed garlic powder onion powder and parsley and i did some salt and pepper now for myself i did these messy deviled eggs because it's on the low carb side of life but the egg salad still warm so i'm gonna put these in the refrigerator let them cool i'm gonna let the egg salad sit in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes or so too and then we'll do our sandwiches okay so we got our lunch station going on here this is amelia she's got a toasted egg salad sandwich, a kiwi because we need to eat those up, and some green apple with just a bit of peanut butter. So we got school done. Travis took Gabriel. They got some errands done too. Got dinner stuff over there for, of course, another low-carb instant pot meal. And uh, anyway, I'm going to show you. Travis, we're doing our trying to eat down pantry, refrigerators, freezers. A little bit of a challenge. He did pick up a few things though at Walmart, but I haven't done like any grocery haul thing this week. So he picked up snacks tomorrow to add with our lunch because we have our last day of basketball games. Okay. Naomi's team is in the, the championship and we have four games. And then after that, we go to a black belt dinner for Taekwondo. And uh, Sunday we have another awards activity after church. So lots going on. So he just, you know, instead of buying drinks there, he got a six pack of drinks for their mom and dad drinks. And they got some veggie straws now. I, you know, you try to teach, you try to teach these husbands things sometimes. This is like the smallest little bag of veggie straws. And you know they sell like the monster, the monster bags. So he got two of the small ones. I'm gonna put these in baggies for the kids. And then he got a pack of protein bars and uh, value size. He said that way the kids will have some protein. I'm going to probably pack some egg salad somehow and do egg salad sandwiches there. So I'm getting ready to film another video, getting lots of cook with me videos done this week. And I'm doing a keto instant pot beef stew or low carb beef stew. I've done this in some of my large family meals of the week videos and I like to do the radishes instead of potatoes. So I'm gonna get that going and look for that separate video. Okay, so we've already had our dinner but I will show you what is left. I did a separate video on this. It is the keto instant pot beef stew. So here you go, this is what it looks like all done. So here is what we have left. There's probably, I don't know, three or four servings left. Everyone had a bowl for dinner, and that is that. So happy Saturday. Today is the kids' last upwards sports basketball games of the season, and Naomi's team is in the championship. And to celebrate, they always have, but listen, listen to this marketing, okay? They always have a funnel cake truck here every Saturday. We have not been complaining because it's cheap funnel cakes. So we are getting fried Oreos to celebrate. There's a whole lot of scandalous food going down today. So here's our fried Oreos going down. Gabriel's got his. He's not minding this treat. Amelia, you got yours. Benjamin's calling for his. And there's our pile. Okay, so we are here in the middle of a game. And this is what this mama is doing. Because we're trying to do a lot of uh, refrigerator and pantry clean out this week. Even though you're going to see meals out. We have banquets and stuff. Ooh, basketball happening. We have, you'll see, st stuff's are coming up that is food outside of our home. But anyway, I brought egg salad, got some bread. We had some root beer at home. I'm gonna sit here in the middle of this basketball game and make all my kids egg salad sandwiches. Go mom. So it is Tuesday now. I don't think I talked to y'all in this uh, large family meals of the week since Saturday. So Saturday after our basketball games and uh, egg salad in the bleachers and those uh, fun adventures and our fried Oreos. Then that evening, our Taekwondo school had a black belt dinner. So we went to that. 
left my camera in the van when Travis dropped us off. He took the younger kids to Wendy's and the kids and I, we had fried chicken, didn't we, Liam? I think they had fried chicken and spaghetti and bread and like all the, I don't know, big banquet food, kind of the country version stuff. And we saw two of the students from our school. One got their second stripe for their black belt and the other one got their first official black belt, registered black belt. And then Sunday we had more of those French toasts. On the way to church I had like some cheese and some apple and a yogurt. Then Sunday after church we were scheduled to have and like we had planned our time around having our end of season basketball like luncheon and awards. However we were getting ready to leave the city where our church was. I happened to check Facebook and I saw, thank goodness I saw, because it was like an hour in the other direction, that that luncheon had been canceled. So that was part of my meal plan. I was thinking, well, that's where lunch would be that day. They are going to reschedule it, hopefully. So we went to CeCe's Pizza Buffet. So here I am, I'm telling you, fried Oreos, Wendy's, CeCe's Pizza Buffet. And so sometimes I get questions like, do you all eat out, out, out all the time? Uh, or they think that's a big part of my meal planning. We, just like any family, get into times like we didn't know that the basketball luncheon would be canceled. It was an hour away from home with nothing in the slow cooker. So yay, cheap pizza buffet to the rescue. So we will, some weeks it might be one to two times. Sometimes we go a couple weeks without eating that at all. It just depends. So that kind of wraps up week one of my little mini freezer and pantry challenge. Now I'm rolling into the second week. So then for lunch today, we are going to do probably just slices of apple butter and sliced apples. Now, uh, of course, on the other side of the spectrum, we have three steaks that I put out to defrost yesterday. Travis is going to grill those for us, but he's just busy doing other projects outside right now. So I'm doing this snacky lunch for the kids. You see, maybe during week two, this bag of sweet potatoes <laughs> is going to get used up. But uh, definitely, I haven't been to the store to add in anything for this week. Okay, so reality time. Here's how the refrigerator is looking. So we do have some cream cheese here. And I have some shredded cheese left from I, that I got at Aldi last week, which is great because I'm going to do a chicken broccoli cheese low carb bake. It's also a freezer meal, so I wanna do several pans of it. And I need that cheese for it and I need the cream cheese. And so I have, this is like half a, half a thing of cream cheese. I do have a few low carb wraps left. We still haven't used these. You may remember if you watch all my grocery hauls, I got these at Sharp Shopper uh, several weeks ago and I just keep forgetting about them. They actually don't need to be in the refrigerator, but I put them in here. So don't forget about them, Jay Morrell. Next grocery shopping, yes, do that, like it. Okay, so some odds and ends. This is my eggs left from breakfast. And looks like we have half a breakfast sandwich there left. Some almond milk, heavy cream. That heavy cream is getting close to the date, so I'll need to use that up this week. We have two packs of bacon. This big thing of cheese, because of our ski trip, Travis never got around to cutting that. So I want him to make cheese sticks for us this week. I have one, this is probably, yeah, like a half dozen of eggs in here. I probably have five or six dozen, we'll see in the garage, left. Um, feta. We have avocados, carrots, radishes in here in what is normally our yogurt drawer. A little sad state of events, but we got some onions. This is basically dinner vegetables. We have two apples in here, and I will clean out my drawer while you're watching. So, yeah, here's the house. What's happening in the house refrigerator? And then in this house freezer, I've got some chicken broth, some tater tots. Didn't see, this is the kind of stuff that needs to get used up. I need to just put those on a baking sheet. I think, I don't know, I might, don't know if I don't have enough for all the kids. That's where it gets, it gets difficult. Maybe tonight when Zion and I play games, I'll make him a little bowl of tater tots. He'll like that. Um, these are still, these are the broccoli, but I'm gonna use those in my low carb chicken broccoli cheese freezer meals. We do have some shrimp, one pack of asparagus, some blueberries, and so like these blueberries, I need to make smoothies with blueberries for this coming new week. Got some chicken here, waffles, there's a ribeye, some more chicken. Lots of good chicken that I don't mind using up. Got some Ezekiel bread, more broccoli, this is a Instant Pot freezer meal. I don't think I marked it, but that looks like salsa chicken to me. 
and here's some beans that I need to use and some flour. So these are the kind of things that I will be working on using up in my next Large Family Meals of the Week video. And then we will go over here and look at the pantry. Okay, so this is just a honest look. You know, I've got that big box of cans. There's applesauce under there and that's tomato sauce. Things are a fallen. Tons of confectioner sugar. That is left from when we did all our gingerbread houses this fall. So this is what is in the pantry now. And let's see, I think uh, we could probably use another bottle of ketchup in the refrigerator. Um, but a lot of the condiments, obviously, we won't get into this week. I'm not getting into the steel-cut oats yet because I have tons of old-fashioned oats. I hope to get some oatmeal breakfast in. I do have cans of pink salmon. I'm going to look at my meal plan for my next Large Family Meals of the Week video. You know, that might be something I could get used up, is do some salmon cake, some for us to have for dinner, and then some for the freezer. Do like a, you know, double-triple batch and have some for later. A little bit of pizza sauce, spaghetti sauce, some syrup, some flour, odds and ends, but like you see, it's not like full of snacky stuff. Tomato, uh, diced tomatoes, which I'll be using this week. Jelly, so pretty standard pantry with a, not a lot of bells and whistles, and yeah, so odds and ends in here will be cleaned out through the coming week. Okay, so now we're gonna go look at freezers and outside refrigerators. So in this fridge we have, we do have some various veggies. We've got some celery we can do cream cheese sticks with and still have more veggies I had gotten for upcoming dinners. This is from last week's Aldi haul still. Okay, this refrigerator, there is some more. There's some bread, one gallon of milk left. Looks like three dozen eggs. Some almond milk back there, some big mozzarella, those carrots still, bacon bits still, cottage cheese, we got butter, egg whites. You can tell I have lots of cream cheese plans in my life. <laughs> Another odd loaf of bread. These are some pie crust I had got to make more, I mean this is months ago, what is the date even on these? Look at this, February 2019. So I guess those need to go because I didn't, didn't freeze them or do anything with them in time. These were extra when I did a bunch of um, chicken pot pies and for the freezer and those never got used. So shoot, sometimes you lose a thing or two. Also more avocados back there so I'll have to slice those up for Amelia and I for the coming week. Okay, this freezer is just the sad state of affairs that I need to clean out. This freezer is uh, older than Jaden. It's probably 20 years old. So got another thing of shrimp. Got some hard salami. I could probably bring that in the house. That's a sharp shopper deal. Got some bones for some beef broth and more Ezekiel bread. Get my freezer key in the door here. Okay, now my other freezer that is this size is now completely bare because I haven't done, like you all know, I haven't done been doing a bazillion freezer meals in recent months. We've been eating down the freezers. Um, so this is what is left of the cow that we had bought and several other, uh, there are some freezer meals left that we'll use this week. So these are two pans of chicken fried rice. Um, and then from my Aldi haul last month, I still have all the strawberries, two big bags of Kali rice. I have this uh, stir-fry vegetable bag. This is some cooked ground beef, two other um, chicken meals up there. And so in here, these are some odds and ends left from the cow. We still have a lot of steaks left, but we only have, I think this is it. We have four packs of ground beef. That's about 20 pounds. And then here's another flat iron steak. Here's the short ribs. So tons of short ribs. I keep talking about it, but I'm gonna do some videos of um, short ribs in the Instant Pot down here. Here's some pre-cooked ground beef. This already has um, peppers and onions and such in it, so that would be probably good for spaghetti and such. Another pack of French toast sticks. And then this is a, a three stack of French toast slices. More beef bones. We have ground beef, which will go up there. And then um, down here we have, okay, two, four, six, seven. So it looks like I have eight total of the hens. And you know, some weeks these save my life. I just throw them in the Instant Pot, do some kind of chicken meal. And then down here, got some ribeye. Um, more short ribs, more ground beef. So you'll see meat-wise. Now I don't want to 
eat all the meat down till we have nothing. But again, things like the pre-cooked ground beef and some of these chicken meals I still have around. Before I do more freezer meals, I wanna use those up. And then the steaks and such, Travis uses those as he's able. Like today, we have some defrosted that he is going to grill and the sun shines out so he can start grilling again. These French toast, we will probably have lots of French toast and oatmeal breakfast coming up. I also have a bag of this tropical fruit blend. Haven't got into that, but you can see, uh, you know, for a family of 10, I could definitely go grocery shopping this week, but I am gonna hold off one more week and that just forces me to use up more of these odds and ends. So you can see we definitely have lots of food. I can definitely make it another week, but this is going to definitely, let's see, how many times can Jamar use the word definitely? Definitely, definitely, definitely have me scratch the bottom of some freezer shelves and get some more things used up in the pantry. My next Large Family Meals of the Week video, which should be more entertaining, like forcing me to get a little creative wise, I'll probably start filming like today, Tuesday, through next Sunday or Monday when I do my next big once a month grocery shopping haul. Also, two things, okay, two things I want you to do. Don't forget to click this video right here to keep on a watching. And number two, I want you to also check the first comment in the description below and go through and click that and get my free super mega large family food collection. I have my family favorites recipe binder. The whole binder creation kit is in there for free. It's also for sale in my shop, but you can get it free. I have my family meal planning collection that has weekly, bi-weekly, and monthly meal planners and grocery list. I have my free super mega, because we do all the things super mega, freezer meal planning pages. I have a cookbook that has 10 favorite large family table dinner recipes, and there's like casseroles and slow cooker recipes in there, and, and more. It's a lot, massive download. Let me tell you something about the downloads though, is some Sometimes I get emails from, from different ladies who try to open the download on their phone. You need to open the download because it's a zip file. Open it on your desktop because it's a, what, a hundred and, I don't even know how many pages, it's a lot. I have a free like holiday planning set in there that helps you meal plan and grocery shop for all the holidays and even blank planners in that one. And that one alone is over 30 pages. So it's a massive thing I'm trying to hand you, open it from your desktop. You got that. Okay, I'll see you real soon with another brand new video. Bye bye.